Heil Hitler. My name is Colonel Hans Müller of the SAS. As you know, we were combing the area for Jews, but it has come to our attention that two Negroes have escaped and are hiding out in this area as well. You wouldn't happen to know anything about this now, would you? Uh, no! Uh, no Negroes here. Uh, uh, mm -mm. Negroes? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. And um, what's your names? Leroy. <sighs> Heimer. Leroy Heimer is my last name. And my first name is very German, and that is because it is Heinrich. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. my name is Heinrich Leroy Heimer. And I am Baron Helmut Schnitzel Nazi. Well, are you going to invite me in? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 come on in. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Please, gentlemen, sit down. Now, as you know, the Negro, not unlike the Jew, can be a very tricky creature. Well, that's fun. We have developed many tests to determine if an individual is, in fact, an actual Negro. It's very scientific. Like when we throw the beans up against the homosexuals to see if the beans explode. Yeah, uh, what kind of tests? It's interesting that you would ask me that. Would you mind if I removed your hat? So that I can measure your head. The Negro head, interestingly enough, only comes in the half sizes. It's one of the many interesting things about the Negro head. Hmm. Everything seems in order. Well, no Negro heads here. I'll I, I tell you what, though. If a Negro head came in here, it would find itself detached from its Negro oh. body. I'll tell you that, right? <laughs> Am yeah. I right? <laughs> this is very, very good. But there are so many exceptions to the rule, which is why it's so important that we have a test which is foolproof. Uh, more tests? You know, hunting the Negroes all day, you really build up an appetite, you know what I'm saying? Can I interest you too in some delicious beets? Interesting. The Negro cannot resist the beet. It is drawn to it like flies to chaser. Well, Gentlemen, it appears I have wasted your time. I'll be on my way. Okay, Just that. one more thing. I'm curious as to how you feel about this cat toy! Jiggledy jiggledy! Nothing? Well, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry for bothering you. You two are obviously not Negroes. <laughs> yeah. Of course we're not yeah. Negroes. This is a, a no Negro zone. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Ain't no thing. Hello, yeah. yeah. Ima. Oh, that's new. Baron Schnitzel Nazi. What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'll wait for you here. There we go. All right. <clears throat> by the way, <clears throat> are you by chance related to the Dusseldorf Schnitzel Nazis? Yes, I am. Damn. How's your Aunt Frida? Aunt Frida, she is still fat? I don't recall her being fat. But who looks like they did in college anyway, am not I me, right? Not me, not me, not, not this me. one. Not Either. me, because I wasn't. Yes. <laughs> not me, you know, Dr. Guten Tag. Oh, Gutenberg. Man, that was close. Ooh, we gotta get out of here, man. We... <laughs> he left the cat toy, man. Uh-uh. He left it. Uh-uh. 